steam see from jdk 1.8 version from jdk 1.8 version we can we can declare we can declare we can declare static methods we can declare static methods inside interface team we can declare static method inside interface so why it is um, main goal why it has okay, introduced this concept so that means now see as you know if a functional interface is your okay, interface okay okay functional interface is equal okay, functional interface is equal abstract only one abstract method single abstract method sam plus zero or more default methods plus zero or more zero or more zero or more default methods plus zero or more static methods zero or more default methods plus zero or more static method city so now but only single abstract method sam stands for single abstract method from jdk 1.8 onwards we can declare static methods inside interface we can declare static method okay, inside interface why you can declare static method inside of interface so the main objective of the static method is to define static methods are used to define define general general utility general utility methods to define general utility methods to define general utility methods in your real-time project what is the real-time project you know if you see every project see the common code is there every project so okay okay what is the use case where i should use okay use case in your real time so uh, to develop our project to develop uh, you know during project development during project development we may we may require we, we we may require common logics we may we may require logics first we should know what is okay utility methods what is okay, utility methods okay utility methods see the code which will uh, you know which will use which will use many places the code which will be used many places the code which will use many places is called utility see collections java dot util package means you will be using most of the places this collections you will be using most of the places this collections okay you will be using most of the places this collections team now what is that of okay, use case please what is that of okay, use case team use case is during project development during project development we may required we may required logic we may required logic team so th that logic that logic would be kept inside would be kept inside inside okay, inside of inside of okay, utility class utility class small example of a utility class public as if your project is uh, offers service 
or if your project is you know card and service you know whatever it every project i will be using card service utility in this utility so with, with what are the common logics these logics we will be using maybe a service maybe a dao maybe so many other places the code which will be required for more places the code which are okay required for many places in real time what happened you know will move that code into some okay it will public static void not void public static uh, you know string string last last uh, you know last uh, uh, last five digits five digit card number you want input string card number so here we should write our business logic we should write our business logic get the okay, input is card number and apply you know write write business logic to split to split even card number to to, to get last five digit card number from even input card whoever is required what they will do dash name dot how to call your okay how to call your static methods how to call your static methods class name dot method name class name dot method name so this logic may require four or five places every place instead of i should write this uh, you know duplicate this code of in every place what i should do i am keeping into my i am keeping into my uh, you know in one okay, utility class wherever is required just class name dot method name you pass the card number i will give this one another use case date format public static string date format if you will give one param give the string format comma string send the date you will give one format and okay expecting is other format here you got okay input is maybe work okay, input is ddmmyy then output would be dd slash slash yy okay depends team this logic may may require many places so the code which is common for every project the code which is common for every project in legacy projects in traditional projects we used to uh, you know we used to write this code in everywhere so okay, instead of writing this logic in 10 classes maybe this logics would be required in 10 classes i should keep this logic in one utility class that's why during your real time project controller layer service layer da1 layer uh, you know constants layer and utility and okay, utility package also is there utility package means the classes which are available in the utility package which are frequently using in many places team so earlier before static methods was introduced into the market we used to write one class one user defined class during our project development wherever common functionalities wherever common uh, you know logics is required you'll keep all the logics into one utility class wherever you required and so on so many classes team not only one and so on so many classes team i don't understand wherever is required now here see so 
we can we can use this okay for utility methods wherever wherever we want using using class name t wherever you want using class name in class name dot using class name dot method name so what this uh, jdk 8 okay, extra is bringing hey developer why unnecessarily you are okay writing a okay separate logic hey developer why unnecessarily you are writing a separate you know class the main objective of this jdk 8 is number of classes should be reduced and number of business logic would be reduced it is the main goal of this lambda expression through the functional interface what we'll do here hey developer so no need to you know write in separate class all these things you can keep this method inside of your interface that's it you can skip this you can skip this okay class understood team i may require this this logic in my controller to, to print the you know logging last five digits in my controller class i may require what i will do dot get is a class name right you need to pass your card number in my service class it is required in my dio class it is required wherever it is required team instead of you will write you know same code again and again wherever okay, it is a okay, required team okay instead of you will write same code again and again what you will do just you will call this one maybe da also required to print the log statement and all maybe to perform some operations and all that's it that's it so it's not like only one it's a many scenarios the code which is required for common to develop your business logic okay understood so we are going with the static methods okay Okay, instead of you okay, declare your static methods, uh, you know, uh, some other classes. So keep the static methods into where? Okay, inside of the interface. The main objective of this is static methods are used to, to define general okay, utility methods. Okay, using, 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 okay, using, using static methods okay, inside okay inside interface we can reduce we can reduce number of classes we can reduce number of classes in in project in project in project we can reduce okay, number of classes in project okay now okay how to write this say the same you can write in your functional interface only same you can write in your functional interface only okay, instead of you will write here you should write your functional interface only that's it understood team yeah got it now we'll see practical of this one how this okay static method will be used no okay what i would say this logic i would give my functional interface I would give my function interface whatever your function interface is there this function interface 
you can write one abstract method you can write default method and you can write many static methods many static methods the below are the static methods so team so now we'll see practically how to write the static methods and all now we'll see practically team any questions team hope you are good are you following team any questions team team any questions no right yeah good now we'll see team how to start this one now okay next one team okay, what is next one now please plan okay next one okay next one team so how to start these practicals new class Um, dot cnotech dot static methods static methods demo static is not a valid identifier com dot cnotech Interface. Run, finish. Okay. Now let's assume that it is a simple inter. I would convert this to interface. Interface. Now, now what is there? Now see. Public static void m1. Public static void m1 system dot out dot print ln interface static method interface static method now oh. so what happened now if you implement any class if you implemented any class just i will go here okay test class public static void main which is implements is implements static methods demo which is implement static methods demo now here what happened now we'll see it here now we'll see it here now i never will okay implements right do you mean test dot t1 is equal new test do you mean okay it should work sir Dot, see? Did you get if you work implements? Do you think static methods are coming here? Sir, did you understand? So static methods will not inherited into your EM your implementation class. Static methods will not implemented into your inherited classes. If you want to call your static methods directly you should call from the class name static methods directly will not inherited from the interface that's why it is not coming so okay, you should write that comment here third statement 
static methods static methods will not will not inherited into impl classes static methods will not be inherited into implemented classes implemented classes so if we want to call static methods we want to call static methods call directly from call directly from class name call directly from class name call directly from class name how to call directly from class name this is nowhere used team either you will created the object or not no way use this because static methods are it won't be any what is my static method here okay m1 okay m1 will not come even if you are trying to save here it will give error it will give error next one static method dot m1 run as see you can call directly from the class name you can call directly from the class name okay but static methods directly will not inherited from the your your you know from the your Okay, interface. Understood. Now, how to use how to use static method overriding team? Static methods overridings. I would say, see, I have a class. I have a okay, okay, simple interface team. Let's see. Okay, interface A. Interface A will have method is public. Public void M1. Public void M1. Is static. Public static void M1 here. Okay. Now, now what happened here? System dot out dot print ln. M1 method. Okay, done. Okay, M1 method is done. Team. Okay, next one. I have interface B. I have our class B. I have class B. Class B okay, implements interface A. Class B okay, implements okay, interface A. If it is generally, if the moment you will implement interface A, it will give, hey, can you can you implement unimplemented methods or not? Like that, you will get an error. But here, okay, will not come. Again, you will give public static void M1. M1. System dot out dot print ln. B class M1 method. B class M1 method. Now here see. So is it valid or not? Is it valid or not? 100% it is valid. Static methods are never. If you are calling this b dot m1 means this one will come not a1 static methods overriding concept is not applicable for static methods if you want exactly method in child class but the 
that is not exactly overriding that is not exactly overriding team you can go ahead here if you want to call b b static method if you are call b dot m1 means what you will get b class will get the b class m1 method actually whenever this method is not there see if a is not st static if a is not static method see what error you will get it in b immediately you will get it immediately will get it add unimplemented methods because in in a class m1 is not a static method if a method is not static method so it will ask you want unimplemented methods or not understood team if but if the method is static method static method see then it won't come team then okay then it won't come see so what we have to know here see fourth one static methods static methods are overriding concept overriding concept is not applicable is not applicable for interface interface static methods overriding concept Concept is not interface static methods. So interface static methods. Understood team. Even though you are trying to use this interface is valid only. This interface is valid only, but it will not override. This interface is valid only, but okay, it will not override team. Understood team. See, okay, static is very simple one. This is the okay, static classes team. Okay, static is very simple one. This is the static. See, from 1.8 in this static interface, okay, you can write main methods also. Because it is a static method, right? No one is stopping. System dot out dot print ln in method okay. now run it run as system dot out dot print ln main method public static void main string or yes java application you got the output understood team so from jdk 1.8 onwards last step to one we can write we can write main method in okay inside okay interface inside interface because it supports static methods. Team. These are the very very important about static. These are the main important about static team. Any questions team? Any questions? So this is the topic about st okay, static methods team. It is a simple one. Okay. Previous class we have okay, discussed about default methods. Now it is a static method team okay now next one is very very important team how to use lambda expression how to use lambda expression for collections team how to use okay, lambda expression so for collection is a very very important team use lambda expression so for collections
okay so here it is about static see if any okay interviews are asking team hey why static methods are okay, introduced in jdk 8 you should tell yes from jdk 1.8 onwards static methods also is available but the main goal of the static um, methods are to provide to provide to define general okay, utility methods to define general utility methods so that we can avoid unnecessarily new classes to okay, create in the project so static methods is it in a, okay inherited from the your uh, okay, interface to your impl class no Static methods, if it is inherited, then what is the concept of okay, introducing in okay, interface? Static methods will not inherited into IMPL classes because to avoid this unnecessarily utility classes, we you know they introduced a static methods inside of the interface. So anyhow, you can call directly from your interface. Interface dot static method, it will be happened. So, overriding concept is not applicable for okay, interface static methods. See, if any some competitive exams, if any some okay, certifications exam, if any you are obvious, some okay, first level, okay, first level okay, system testing, these kind of these questions will be a helpful team. Can we write our, our main method static, uh, main static method inside of the interface? Yes, you can write because it's, it supports static methods team. So what is utility here? The code which will be used mainly, which will be used many places is called okay, utility methods. That's it. This is the code. Okay. Any question stream here? Okay. Next question is lambda expression for collections. How to reduce how, okay, how to write okay efficiency code using lambda expressions for collections lambda expression for collections team how many see to understand this team to understand this you need basic knowledge on basic knowledge on actions like list set map basic knowledge on collections like list set map and concepts like operator concepts like comparator means see okay inside of the reset reset is required asset reset asset okay reset is required and okay hash set is required and also you know if you are going with the maps, okay, tree, tree map is required, hash map, tree map is required. Please see him, okay. You may feel I know okay, everything, but just I am giving a okay, sub team to understand this because if you have, okay, if you don't know this, okay, it is a okay, difficult team. If already know this, you okay without jdk how much code you are writing and also you should know comparator perform sort to the elements perform sort to the elements to perform sort to the elements you know sort to the elements um, collections see now here without jdk how much time it will take with jdk 8 how how okay efficient you will write the code you will see it in okay let us start yeah team we will continue tomorrow this one team because please okay practice this basics 
you know okay, tomorrow we'll start on this collection system of team okay so it is a very if you are not uh, you know good at basic examples on list set map difference between okay list and set the difference between you know when you should go for a tree set when you should go for hash set when you should go for hash map when you should go for tree map please practice once team it would be good you know to understand more okay team thank you all